we're given the following equation. And what we need to do is we need to find the center, uh, the focuses or the foci, and the vertices. So now how are we going to do that? Well, it's just like when we studied quadratic equations. We have horizontal shifts, vertical shifts, we have all kinds of stuff. Well, I know that if it's inside the parentheses, that's going to tell me where my center is. So my center is at, remember, it's the, if it's not negative, it's going to be the opposite of what you see. So my center is going to be at minus 1 and 2. Because remember, there's your h and your k, and the standard form is a subtraction. Now, how in the world am I going to find c? That's what I need down here. So I know what a squared and b squared already are. So I can say that c squared equals a squared minus b squared. And that's going to equal to 9 minus 4, which is 5. So I know that c is going to be plus or minus the square root of 5. Now, so far so good. What does that do for me? Well, I already know here where the center is, right? So then I know that I'm going to have to take minus 1, and I'm going to have to add and subtract for each one of the foci on the x-axis. So this is going to be plus the square root of 5, comma, 2, and I'm also going to have minus 1 minus the square root of 5, comma, 2. So I've got those two. Now what happens with my vertices? Where am I getting that from? Well, remember when we looked at the formula, we've got A and we've got B. So we know that it's A is the bigger one. So A is going to be our number that we need to add or subtract to our center. So again, I'm going to have minus 1 plus 3, comma 2, and then I'm going to have minus 1 minus 3, comma 2. But I'm going to have to simplify that because that just looks really funky, right? So that's going to be 2, comma 2, or minus 4, comma 2. Now, if you're not remembering exactly why I'm adding two specific x's or y values, please make sure that you review the rules that we've gone over or that you've looked at in your textbook. So now if you have this information, you would be able to graph the equation. Is there anything else that you think would be helpful? Well, you know, it'd be really helpful if I had the endpoints. So the one thing that this question didn't ask for, which would assume that you would need before you could actually graph this, is you would have to find your endpoints. Now remember, your endpoints are in relation to y. So if they're in relation to y, that means I'm going to have to use my b value, which is 2, and I'm going to have to take from the center, I'm going to take minus 1, and I'm going to do 2 plus 2, and I'm going to take my, another x value, and then I'm going to do 2 minus 2. So this would then simplify to minus 1 comma 4 and minus 1 comma 0. So you have all of your pieces. Now, it, just to kind of give you an idea, if you decide to graph this, it's going to be kind of like this, so that it's going to be sitting on the x-axis, and then you're going to have your ellipse so that it comes up and around.